2021 is looking to give us some of the most incredible indie games ever made. Welcome to Get Indie Gaming, and in this video, the third of a five-part series and a change to the usual format, we're taking you through our top 10 most wanted indie game heavy hitters, most likely due out next year. By this we mean the games we think are likely to drive the most amount of interest and dare we say it the most hype in their run up to launch. Some of these no doubt you'll have seen before, others perhaps less so or either way, be sure to stay right up until the end of the video to stand a chance of being gifted in a giveaway, the game that's undoubtedly for many the most wanted game expected out all year. Before that, let's get cracking with our indie game heavy hitters rundown. for you. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> you wanna guess what it is? Hmm. First up at number 10, and one of the heavy hitters in this rundown that's already gathering an incredible amount of interest, not just from the specialist indie video game press, but also from the likes of the IGNs, Polygons, and the Verves of this world. 12 Minutes is a real-time, top-down interactive thriller that to our collective minds is one of the most exciting click and drag driven based game we've ever seen. Featuring the quite frankly stellar voice cast of James McAvoy from numerous films such as X-Men, Daisy Ridley from the recent Star Wars movies and Academy Award nominee William Dafoe. The game revolves around a simple premise. For your character, what should have been a relaxing evening at home after a day's work turns into a nightmare scenario where someone, supposedly a police detective, bursts into your home, accuses your wife of murder before brutally beating you to death, only for you to then find yourself back at the same moment at which you first open the door to enter your home. The loop continues indefinitely, unless you're able to find a way of changing it via learning and applying knowledge you gain with each and every iteration of the loop. 12 minutes looks superbly captivating, and there's no doubt it's been put together to look truly cinematic with a nod to films such as Memento, Rear Window, and The Shining. The colour and pattern of the carpet in the hallway outside your home being an obvious not so little easter egg right there. While there's no firm word on when this fascinating Groundhog Day home invading thriller is set to launch, we're hoping it'll drop in the first half of the year, with it set to launch on PC and the Xbox platforms. At number 9, and another firm crowd favourite wherever it's been demoed, Recompile sees you witness the birth and then play as a semi-sentient computer AI, all within a stunningly rendered, sprawling atmospheric hacking, run and gunning adventure. The time we've had with Recompile over the last few attempts at the demo, well, challenging is one word you could use to describe it. Downright difficult would also perfectly fit, and yet other folks we've seen playing it seem to have made a better fist of doing so, and making sense of this traditional metroidvania mechanics, within a wide-ranging, deep and dynamic branching narrative system. Interestingly enough, the entire game is set to take place within a single second of real time, and players with the skills to do so will be able to discover the many secrets of the digital landscape as they look to fight, hack, and ultimately make it out alive. Recompile we think should be out next year on PC via Steam, Epic, and also onto the PlayStation and Xbox platforms. Moving on, and the only city builder in this indie game, Heavy Hitters Rundown, Industries of Titan is looking supremely majestic, with it out in early access today via the Epic Games Store. Set on Saturn's moon Titan, players will design a city from the ground up, 
with you eventually needing to balance the needs of your workers, the factories, your buildings, etc, etc, in order to produce a powerful and efficient space trading empire. As could be expected, you'll also need to design ways in which to defend your capital, and this looks really great fun with you building battleships and using your technical superiority and political influence to keep driving the forces of capitalism forward and to dominate the planet and those around you. Industries of Titan will be out next year at some point in 2021 on a PC via Steam and the Epic Game Store. At number 7 and the only out and out pixel art title in this particular rundown, Backbone is a noir role playing detective game where you step into the shoes of a raccoon turned private eye who goes by the name of Howard Lotor. This adventure takes place in a beautifully rendered 2.5D pixel art environment that many of you will recognise as a dystopian Vancouver. As this video airs, there's a demo to be played by way of the Steam homepage and we thoroughly recommend you pick this one up before it's perhaps too late. While a point and click game at its heart, it uses multiple mechanics such as stealth, exploration and an extensive branching story with associated inter-character dialogues inspired by classic CRPGs. From what we've seen and played of this so far, Backbone should be one of the biggest pixel art detective games out in 2021, with it coming to PC via Steam, PlayStation Switch, the Xbox and also to the Xbox Game Pass, with a view to it launching some point in Q1. At number 6, Kena Bridge of Spirits is currently being developed and published by Ember Lab, with it grabbing us by the lapels midway through the year. Of all the games in this rundown and this overall five part series, we can't think of one to our eyes that looks as aesthetically pleasing. If you think otherwise, be sure to let us know down in the comments, and in so doing, well, you've already entered yourself with a chance of being selected as part of a giveaway. More on that soon. Kena Bridge of Spirit is a story-driven action adventure combining exploration with what seems supremely fast-based combat. Players perhaps naturally enough play as Kena as they grow a team of charming looking spirit companions as they do battle against various spirits that have become corrupted, all the while searching for an abandoned village in search of a sacred mountain shrine. Sure this all looks great, the combat looks terrific and we're pretty certain this will figuratively fly off the shelves. Kana Bridge of Spirits we believe will be coming soon, as early as March next year to PC via the Epic Games Store and also to the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 consoles. We've been absolutely spellbound by Tunic since it was, if we first recall, shown off at one of the E3 press events in 2017. We still have to at times shake our heads to remember that this is mostly coming from Andrew Scholdice, a single developer who's been hard at work on this game ever since. We've played, we think, two iterations of the Tunic demo, the first of which just allowed you to play and play with, I suppose, no real aim to it, other than to pick your jaw off the ground from time to time. The other iteration was time limited which made for greater sense, particularly at trade show events where Tunic tended to have a line around the block at most instances, with this demo ending in quite the fun and enjoyable boss battle. If Tunic is new to you, and well we can't think it will be to many, it is perhaps a tribute to all things Zelda and features a quite frankly cute and merch friendly plucky little fox that when given the tools in his or her back pocket, really does know how to pack a punch and hand out the good news to its enemies. It's also just so very pretty to look at, and it promises plenty of mystery as you go about exploring a wilderness full of spooky ruins, terrible creatures and boss battles aplenty. In a recent early December interview with IGN, the developer wouldn't be drawn onto an official launch date, which is fair enough, and yet we're kinda hopeful we get to see this one out in the fields by way of Steam at some point before the end of the year.
Let's crack on. And at number four in our heavy hitters rundown with The Artful Escape, a game like Tunic that's coming first, we believe, over the course of next year onto the PC and Xbox platforms. If there's anything or any way in which to describe The Artful Escape, well, perhaps colourful would be a good place to start. The game features the wonderfully sounding Frances Vendetti, the nephew of Johnson Vendetti, who in the lore of the game happens to be about as famous as Bob Dylan. Well, those of you under a certain age may better ask a parent or caregiver or hey, Google will also be your friend on this one. In any case, the visual feast will enable you to shape Francis in many ways according to your own tastes, which may or may not already be a comment on the visual art already at play. Personally, I love it. Others less so, with it delivering a mashup of adventure gaming, platforming, with a bit of rock opera and other guitar tomfoolery thrown in here and there. It looks so deliciously odd, and just the sort of curio we love to spend time with. At number three, coming from Blue 12 Studios and published by Annapurna, Stray features a stray cat, lost and alone, separated from family, all within an unknown city that shimmers with neon-tinged light in what is the third-person cat adventure. Yep, it's a cyber city exploration adventure game, and while it's due out next year for PC on Steam, it'll also come to PlayStation 5. You know what? It has us asking as many questions as the trailer here gives us answers. We're thinking the game will feature plenty of stealth with you pottering around the place, but we suspect you may also need to act like cats from time to time. You know, straight up obnoxious? We don't give a damn? Well, who knows? For some, this might come a tad too high on this probable indie game heavy hit as expected out next year, although as cat fans and how it looks, and how wonderfully bonkers it all seems. Well, it feels right at home in this rundown. At number two, in a game that, while already out in early access, has the hallmarks of being one of the best and most enjoyable roguelikes expected out in all of 2021. In truth, from what we've seen of it so far, there's every bit the possibility it might play out as good as the most recent indie darling that is Hades, with we suspect the latter just edging out Curse of the Dead Gods by way of its impressive and ever-evolving storylines. No matter. Curse of the Dead Gods has already seen plenty of additions and iterations since coming out in early access in March of this year. It's had additional game modes, plenty new kind of rooms, weapons, and not to mention lots of additional gear and loot to pick up while playing. What Curse of the Dead Gods does so well already in early access is finally nail that dopamine hit of asking the player to think about just having one more little play. What harm could it do? What harm? Well, from our experience, which starts as a say 10 pm quick run through for an hour or so, soon we find it's 5 am where we need to get up to be at work, albeit remotely, in a few hours' time. So, yes, there's something very special bubbling here under the hood. And dear me, I hope it comes out in full this coming year, not just to PC via Steam, but to as many consoles as possible. This one could be magnificent. Like perhaps so many of you have already guessed it, our number one indie game heavy hitter likely out in 2021 is of course Hollow Knight Silksong, the sequel for what for many is their all-time most loved and most played indie game. This time you play as Hornet, princess protector of Hollow Nest, as you adventure through a whole new kingdom ruled by Silk and Song. Having played the demo a few times over the past 18 or so months, we're thinking this sequel is shaping up to be quite the epic return for the team at Team Cherry, where you'll be taken on a further pilgrimage to do battle against vast hordes and solve many mysteries along the way. At launch, Hollow Knight Silk Song is expected out on PC and the Nintendo Switch. So let's get straight on with the giveaway, or more correctly put, a gifting offer from us here at Get Indie Gaming to you, our ever so wonderful viewers. 
While we are not privy to when this game is set to launch, we have all of our fingers and toes crossed that it's coming out at some point in 2021. And when it does, we will gift three digital codes of the full launch game as sold at retail upon the day it launches. To be in for a chance to receive this gift come giveaway, remember, this is not a competition. All we ask is that one, you are a subscriber to the channel, so please, if you've not already, hit that subscribe button right now. Also, please take time to like this video and hit the like button. And most importantly, be sure to drop a comment down there in the comment section. Once the game launches, we'll use a randomizer to choose from three different comments, and it's these three folks that will be eligible to receive a digital code for the digital version of the game across the platform of your choice. Make sense? If not, drop us a comment down in the comments and we will do our best to get back to you. One final thing and just to reiterate, please remember, this is a gift come giveaway offer and not a competition. And that's all we really have time for in today's top 10 indie game heavy hitters expected out in 2021. We hope you've enjoyed it, many thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you all next time for another indie game video.